This is a time of conquest, the age of Vikings. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you play as Eivor, the fierce Viking warchief of the Raven Clan. Eivor and their kin have forged into England to settle the new frontiers. But these are dangerous times, and each new landscape contains untold perils and mysteries to uncover. Your saga begins with a simple need for a home. Your Viking settlement is the beating heart of your adventure and is the intersecting point for many of Valhalla's interwoven storylines. Here, you'll get familiar with your clan and begin your journey through England. At the Alliance map, you'll meet Randvi, the clan's key intel gatherer, and plan your first moves. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms, Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. By forging alliances with different territories, the Raven Clan will expand their influence, allowing you to grow your settlement and open a wealth of new narrative arcs, missions, activities, and ways to experience the game world. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. Each of England's kingdoms have many stories to uncover, with their own unique plot lines casts of characters, and challenges to overcome. Are you Sigurd Dranger? Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. Including assassinating targets, forging allies, and assaulting rivals in large-scale battles. These story arcs explore the themes of honor, glory, leadership and choice that are central to Eivor's journey. And your pivotal choices will leave long-lasting impacts across the kingdoms. Three men, three possible futures. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? Viking warfare is visceral and brutal, and there are many powerful rivals and enemy types that will stand in your way. Thankfully, Eivor is equipped with a diverse set of combat skills, including brute strength charging maneuvers, close quarters melee attacks, and explosive two-handed finishes, while range abilities like Man's Best Friend and Poison Powder Trap allow you to flank and interrupt your foes from a distance. Your skills are upgraded through a progression system, which allows you to unlock perks and abilities to suit your style of play. Special abilities are found in books of knowledge hidden throughout the world and have their own upgrade tiers that improve their power and effectiveness. As you forge deeper on your journey, your explorations will reward you with exotic gear from the far corners of the world, further unlocking combat options and dual wield combinations, including the legendary Excalibur. Choice is central to Valhalla's player experience, and that begins with Eivor. At the start of your adventure, you'll have the opportunity to choose Eivor's gender, and you can seamlessly swap between male and female Eivor at any time during your story. And so I race my horn to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. After a victory, you return home with resources pillaged from your conquests using them to expand your settlement with structures and upgrades. There's a wide variety of structures to build, each with their own unique gameplay systems and perks. The barracks allow you to elect a Jomsviking, which is a powerful Viking lieutenant, and build a custom crew of raiders to ride with, which are shared with your friends online. Gunnar the blacksmith enhances weapons and gear, and at the tattooist, you'll customize Eivor's look at the shipyard, Gudrun and Goodman will customize and improve your longship. And in the Hidden Ones Bureau, you will work from the shadows, embroiling yourself in a mysterious conflict 
with the Order of the Ancients. We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. Our task will not be an easy one. These are just a few examples, and there's plenty more fun to be had around your settlement. Drink your weight in ale, play a game of Orlog, or throw a massive Viking feast. However, growth comes with its own set of dangers, and your settlement will become the target of new enemy factions. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. <laughs> Valhalla's world is built for a wandering spirit. You'll uncover deeper layers to Eivor's own story in a set of dramatic and intimate narrative through lines. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Player choice is woven through every facet of the game experience. And as you continue to explore, you'll uncover new stories and epiphanies in the most unlikely places. Drink, if you seek true understanding. But this world is just the beginning. Balka, the clan seer, will unlock your senses, allowing you to leap beyond. To Asgard, the legendary realm of Norse myth. From Norway to England, to new worlds, Assassin's Creed Valhalla allows you to experience your own elemental Viking saga. The thrill of discovery, the glory of victory, and the light of kinship. A journey beyond kingdoms and into the soul of a warrior. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, available November 10th. Are your minions, Kodo? I need neither Reptile nor Ermac to kill you. Without them, you are finished. Fight!
Fatality. Rain wins. George, I've arrived at the location. All right, be careful, and let me know as soon as you find anything. Nothing. Okay, I've checked the water and it's dirty. That means we're dealing with either a spirit or a wraith. You're not done yet though. We still need more information. It's possible the ghost is in the basement. I'll use the spirit box to get a confirmation. Okay. If you don't get a reading, then look around with a UV light for anything out of the ordinary. Is anyone in this room? Can you give me a sign? Got a reading on the spirit box. All right, it looks like we're dealing with a spirit. vitals aren't looking good. You need to pack up and leave as soon as you can. You're risking your life from this point on. He is a twisted creature. A balance must be restored.
Shivaji, sword, shield and heart. Heroes of the Frontier. The clockwork core is failing. After a century of peace, Nostraya is once again in peril. It needs your help. Seize legendary weapons and armor so you can face the coming storm. There is no shadow your life won't reach, no treasure outside your grasp. But your strength alone will not be enough to win this fight. Forge new bonds in the endless frontiers. Arm yourself with epic gear. And lay waste to your foes. In this time of great uncertainty and unprecedented evil, rise and become the legend this world needs you to be. Torchlight 3. Your legend awaits. A demon who slays demons is a rare find indeed. Welcome to the brief authoritative history of Night City. This chapter is devoted to so-called styles deeply linked with the history of the world and a very important aspect of life in the city. You can find them everywhere. In cars, clothes, guns, implants. They are your war paint. As one of our sponsors says, it matters not if you're dead, as long as you're doing it in style. The moves on this girl! Swoosh, swoosh! Slicing them up like sashimi! Four visual styles are evident in the Night City of 2077, each with its own history, status, and features. Neon hair, illuminated tattoos, and chrome. Function comes second. Looks are what matter. And we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. The fourth corporate war broke out and entropism was born. Vast and deep crises forced people to find ways to survive by any means. Getting the job done, no matter how, was the primary goal. The look? Who cares? I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Fuck them, fuck this job, fuck this city. Deadly elegance without ostentation. Corporate militaristic fashion, mostly seen in the wealthier parts of town. Substance over style, that's the motto.
celebrities, brain dance stars, business magnates, heirs to corporate fortunes and corporate executives. They abandoned the cold, deadly elegance of neo-militarism and returned to the roots of kitsch, but gave it a fresh, new look. Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. Thank you for your attention. We wish you a very pleasant stay in our marvelous metropolis. Good luck and goodbye. NC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Luckily, matters not where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In a huge open world like Night City, you need a chill ride to get around fast. And in Cyberpunk 2077, there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this, four liter engine, six cylinder, goes from zero to 103.2 seconds. You fucking believe that? We've crafted every car and motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the chassis, the body, not to mention the interiors. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique driving experience. All right, show me what you got. Don't expect advanced tech or luxurious materials here. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it's not the size that counts, I guess. This class is mostly utility vehicles and low-end clunkers made for every pocket. Hold on, hold on. It's a wreck. Uh -huh. My damn wreck. Well, definitely no guy or girl mech. If you need to impress, look to this class alone. What you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. With these wheels, no expense has been spared, no frill ignored. Their plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Masterful engineering and practical design. Trucks and tanks for when you need power and brute force. Hell of a machine. Neat beast. My pride and joy. And these monsters are literally unstoppable. These are for chooms who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Their powerful engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for two. Come on! I want to smell that choo-choo bird! Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets, with these high-powered beasts, you will have only respect. Oh yeah, I like that! If you need speed and armor, the hypercar class is for you. It means precise bodywork, built-in LiDAR arrays, and really expensive materials. Imagine you're sitting on a pile of eddies. Probably less than a thousand people in the world can afford the Arendite. Not your typical urban vehicle. They will take you places you never dreamed you'd go. Oh. And original vehicles are not all you'll find in 2077. We also found room on our roster for some true automotive icons. So what do you want? Supercar? Big house? You want to rule this city? Well, you ain't getting anywhere without an upgrade. You need a softer touch, stronger spine, because taking over Night City ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm in. Cyberpunk 2077.